Hey folks, Steve Lewis here. Welcome to Outlook for a Brighter Day. My amazing wife is working hard doing the nursing thing, so I've got this one by myself. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to be talking about something very important, especially right now, 2021, January 10th. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, hey, thanks for tuning in to another episode. Appreciate all your comments and all your messages that you're writing to my wife and I. For those of you who don't know, we've been given permission to read out of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff by Dr. Richard Carlson. Uh, he passed away a few years ago, but his wife gave us permission. So we thank you very much, Mrs. Carlson, for allowing us to share this amazing book that your husband wrote. And uh, we read out of it, daily reading type thing, very encouraging. We do the podcast episodes once a week, and it's for your enjoyment to equip you to live each day to the fullest and not to sweat the small stuff, especially in this day and age. Okay, so I'm going to jump right in. So I'm going to read this, and then I have a Bible verse to share with you, do a shout out to some folks. And uh, I'll pray and then give you folks a weekly challenge, Barb's weekly challenge. I've got my Canadian hat on today. As most of you know, my wife is Canadian. Uh, she's a hardworking nurse at the nursing home. Shout out to the nurses working hard, taking care of the folks that cannot take care of themselves. So we are going to be reading today about something very important, especially, like I said, right now with everything going on in the world, it's very important that you choose your battles wisely. So here it is. Choose your battles wisely is a popular phrase in parenting, but is equally important in having a contented life. It suggests that life is filled with opportunities to choose between making a big deal out of something or simply letting it go, realizing it doesn't really matter. If you choose your battles wisely, you'll be far more effective in winning those that are truly important. Very, very good statement. Certainly there will be times when you will want or need to argue, confront, or even fight for something you believe in. Many people, however, argue, confront, and fight over practically anything turning their lives into a series of battles over relatively small stuff. There is so much frustration in living this type of life that you lose track of what is truly relevant. The tiniest disagreement or glitch in your plans can be made into a big deal if your goal is to have everything work out in your favor. In this book, this is nothing more than a prescription for unhappiness and frustration. The truth is, life is rarely exactly the way we want it to be, and other people often don't act as we would like them to. Moment to moment, these are aspects of life that we like and others that we don't. There are always going to be people who disagree with you, people who do things differently and things that don't work out. If you fight against this principle of life, you'll spend most of your life fighting battles. A more peaceful way to live is to decide consciously which battles are worth fighting and which are better left alone. If your primary goal isn't to have everything work out perfectly, but instead to have a relatively stress-free life, you'll find that most battles pull you away from your most tranquil feelings. Is it really important that you prove to your spouse that you are right and she is wrong? Hmm? That's a good question. Or that you confront someone simply because it appears as though he or she has made a minor mistake? Does your preference of which restaurant or movie to go to matter enough to argue over it? Does a small scratch on your car really warrant a suit in small claims court? Does the fact that your neighbor won't park his car on a different part of the street have to be discussed at your family dinner table? <laughs> These and thousands of other small things are what many people spend their lives fighting about. Take a look at your own list. If it's like mine used to be, you might want to reevaluate your priorities. If you don't want to sweat the small stuff, it's critical that you choose your battles wisely. If you do, there will come a day when you'll rarely feel the need to do battle at all. And so that's a really good that's that's a really good read. 
And uh, in there, of course, it does describe little things. I know there's big things going on in the world right now and things like that. And uh, but you do have to choose your battles wisely. You have to choose your tactics wisely. You know, as a Christian, it's about praying. It's about keeping God first, you know, and uh, focusing on what God's called us to do. And uh, for other people, you know, it's staying focused. It's what am I lashing out at? What is the real source of the problem? Why am I doing this? You know, you know, some of the things that talked about small battles, you know, I've lived all over the world and uh, been blessed to travel and live in different parts of the world growing up. And so I'll move to one location and they'll say tomato. And then you move to another one. They say tomato. And then you get around someone else and you might say tomato and someone will look at you and try to correct you real quick and go, ah, uh, that's tomato. And you want to laugh and go, what? You know, you know how it is. Sometimes people are quick to correct people every time they make a spelling error or whenever they say a word different than what they're used to, which part of the world they're living in. They're quick to judge, quick to throw up something. And you have to sit back and say, you know what? I'm not battling with that. You know, it's like my little sign over here. Not today, Satan. You know, but, you know, you choose your battles wisely. Think before you speak. You know, ask yourself, is this really worth it? You know, had a talk with a person a long time ago about the color of paint on the walls. You know, if your spouse is home and she wants to paint the walls pink, take a look at it, you know, and discuss it. But at the same time, at the end of the day, she's the one that stares with it more than you might or vice versa, whoever's out working. And uh, you have to really sit back and go, okay, is this worth fighting over? It's just a color of paint. Is this worth fighting over? It's just the restaurant we're going to eat at this time, you know? Learn how to work together, learn how to try new things, try different things, but just stay focused. Right now there's a lot going on and people really do need to choose their battles wisely. You know, we've got a lot of the blame game and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Stay focused. I've said it before in relevance for today podcast episodes, stay off the news. That'll definitely fuel the fire and get you arguing with people that have nothing to do with what's going on on the news. You know, we have to be careful. We have to stay focused. Choose your battles wisely. So I have a Bible verse here, which is a very basic but down home Bible verse. It's Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. If you walk in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control in 2021, watch what happens. Try it for the next week. I'm actually going to make that the challenge. I'm going to go ahead and skip forward, and I'm going to make that the challenge. Barb's challenge for this week is you're going to choose to use love. You're going to choose to have joy. You're going to be patient. You're going to use kindness, gentleness, self-control. You're going to use all those things and apply them. And I want you to think about those things this next week and beyond. It'd be great if you do it for the rest of the year and beyond, but let's just try to challenge this for one week. Think on those words. I'm going to say them again. Love, joy, peace. Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Focus on those, especially self-control, especially everything going on in the political world. Self-control right now. Think about those things. Stay focused and don't lash out. There's a lot going on in people's lives right now. People have enough on their plate without arguing and fighting over political stuff. Stay focused. Stay focused, okay? Okay. And my shout out today is going to be for all the workers still. You know, I've got to do a shout out for all the workers, whether they're healthcare workers, whether it's the police force, all first responders, uh, just at Rite Aid this morning picking up a prescription. You know, the pharmacists, those working in the pharmacists and the pharmacies, those working in the stores, the gas stations, recycle centers, you know, all these different places. If you're out there working to take care of others in some way, big, small, whatever it may be, you're working in a factory to build something, either way, you're out there working with the COVID conditions and everything going on in the world right now. 
kudos to you. Stay strong. And if you're home, mom and dads, whatever you may be doing, raising your kids the right way, loving, caring, peace, patience, kindness, self-control, all those things, put those in there too. Shout out to all of you raising your kids and doing the best you can each day. And so I'm going to go ahead and pray, but I just wanted to share that today because like I said, with a lot going on right now, we really need to choose our battles. And uh, I want to encourage you today. To, so you'll have a brighter day just to, when you when you hear someone say something about things like this, it helps you focus, it helps you think, and it helps you go, you know what, I need to reflect on that. Today, I'm not going to lash out. Even when someone gets on my last nerve, I'm going to catch a deep breath. Hmm. <laughs> you know, not today, not today. Just stay focused, stay focused. Peace, patience, kindness, self-control, goodness, love, joy, all those. Wrap them up. Sound good? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pray. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this opportunity to share right now. I miss Barb being down here in the studio with me, but busy time of the year for her at the nursing home. Lord, we pray for all those out there working hard to take care of all those who cannot take care of themselves. Lord, we thank you for all our first responders. We thank you for all the workers out there working hard. We thank you. We pray for our leaders all around the world that they may come to know Jesus in a great way. We pray that right now, that they may come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord, that the lost may come to know you, Lord. Lord, we pray for people to have patience, for people to have peace, for people to have self-control right now in this day and age. Right now, January 10th, 2021, peace and patience, self-control, self-control, self-control. I can't pray about that enough. Self, self-control. Pray for that right now, Lord. Thank you for our listeners and watchers. We pray for all those out there hurting and suffering, all those who don't have that they will have one day, Lord, that people will step up to the plate and step in the gap just like the different organizations are doing, the food pantries, the food ministries, the food warehouses that are taking care of people. Kudos, that shout out to Dixie, Lord. We pray for Dixie and her people at Catholic Charities. We pray for all the food pantries out there in the world. Good Shepherd Food Bank. We pray for the Samaritan's Purse, all these different organizations out there taking care of people. We pray for all them as well to help them to continue to be a blessing, to take care of people's needs. So, Lord, we pray for that we'll learn to choose our battles wisely, including me, first and foremost. And we just thank you for all these things, Lord. Blessings on each and every individual listening to the sound of my voice and watching this video. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Hey, there you have it, folks. So, outlook for a brighter day. I already did the challenge. The challenge is this week. Add some love, add some joy, add some peace, some patience, some kindness, some goodness, and some faithfulness, some gentleness, and some self-control. Think about all those things. Self-control right now. Focus on those words. Replay this if you have to. Hey, listen, it's all good. Hey, don't forget to get over to YouTube. Put the information right here on the screen. Get over there, subscribe. Right now, we're working on giving away a Bible through Relevance for today. Look through the videos, find the video about the Bible giveaway. If you're in the United States, go ahead and put your name down, put a comment down, and uh, we'll put you in for the drawing for the Bible. It'll be February 2nd, which my mom passed away a couple years ago, as most of you know, but her birthday is February 2nd, so I wanted to do this Bible giveaway on the 2nd of February in honor of her. So, hey, with that being said, hey, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Love to hear from you. Leave some comments. Share this with somebody who needs it. And love you. God bless. Take care of yourselves. Peace.